All right, here we're gonna make the ACL and the PCL extremely easy. Over here we see this exhibit at the museum. It shows the ACL and the PCL. Let's begin with the ACL. So the ACL originates from the lateral femoral condyle, actually from the medial aspect of the lateral femoral condyle, and it inserts at the intercondylar area of the plateau of the tibia. Let's take a look. Here is the plateau of the tibia, and the ACL is inserting at the intercondylar area. So again, the ACL originates from the medial aspect of the lateral femoral condyle, and it inserts at the intercondylar area. Now here we see the PCL. The PCL originates from the medial femoral condyle, and it inserts at the back of the plateau of the tibia. That's why it's called posterior. So now let's see, what would happen if we had a tear in the ACL? Well, since the ACL is inserting at the front of the tibia, it protects the tibia from going more anterior. So if there's a tear in the ACL, the tibia is gonna go more anterior. And the opposite is true of the PCL. The PCL inserts at the back of the tibia. So if the PCL is torn, then the tibia will be able to move more posteriorly. That's how we test for tears in the ACL and the PCL. If you're interested in this 3D model over here, please email me, leave your comments if you'd like. Alrighty, take care.